The Kenya Aviation Workers Union, KAU, has issued a seven-day strike notice to the Kenya Airports Authority demanding the exit of the managing director, Johnny Anderson. KAU says uh, the MD did not have the interest of his staff in pursuing the proposed handover of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport uh, by Kenya Airways. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. This was the situation at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport Tuesday morning. Kenya Airports Authority staff and other workers from the airport protesting against KAA's plans to hand over the affairs of the airport to Kenya Airways if the deal goes through. This airport here today is making money, a lot of money. And it is making money because of the hard work that our members are putting into it. So they must be respected. The other day, they lifted the status of the airport to a point where we were granted category one. Today we have flights directly flying from Nairobi to the U.S. The proposal Kenya Airways has issued KAA with three points in regards to how they would treat JKIA staff. The first option states that second all the current JKIA staff to the SPV on the same terms for a period of 12 months. The second option states that those that wish to remain after the secondment would have to be transferred to the SPV by way of a tripartite agreement that is an agreement between the SPV, KAA and their staff with reduced benefits such as pension. The final option states that KAA to make all JKIA employees redundant on the onset and the SPV would have an option of recruiting all former KAA employees under fresh contracts of employment with the SPV. KAA is set to begin public engagement on the proposal even as JKIA staff question the rationale of handing over the airport to the airline. But we are saying grant us our right. Yes. Leave us with our jobs. You can paint it red, paint it blue, change the name, but leave us with our jobs. That is all that we are saying. The airport workers have stated that they are not against the merger between KQ and the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. What they want to know is where the money will go after KQ starts making profit off of the back of JKI, given that KQ is a private institution. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.